We're going to South Park Mall, which I think is pretty funny, South Park Mall, and we're gonna look for the new Cool Gray Air Jordan 8. It's not too sure how limited it was or if it was a big GR or anything like that, so I'm hoping that they do have them available so I can buy them for a review and to actually wear them because I think they're really dope. I think they look like a cause Air Jordan 4, but it's on the Air Jordan 8 silhouette. First store we're gonna check out is Foot Locker. We bumped into an employee who knew Tim. Apparently, these cool gray aids are apparently flying off the shelves, so we got here just in time. So I'm gonna leave Tim over there on the Jordan side for now. But let's take a look at some of the Nikes here. They got these really dope Vapor Max, the OG colorway. Okay, really dope Air Force Ones. They have that like triple color palette, like those recent Air Force One lows and those Air More Up Tempos. We got this like cream beige with the olive green on the back. Really dope for fall. Really cool gray, black, and red pair as well. I mess with these heavy. And they go with the fit today too. Foams and Air More Up Tempos they have. These are crazy loud, oh my gosh. Here's a look at the Air Jordan wall, as you guys can see. We got the uh, the Bape Air Jordan 1s right here. Cool gray Air Jordan 8s, looking mad clean. So we have an employee right now going in the back and she's gonna try and get me my size. NMD R1s over here. But these are crazy, these are what really caught my eye right now. These Adidas EQT Support Advance in this like glitch red colorway. You guys know I'm a sucker for bread and this is super duper bread. -y. These are also really fresh too, they have this like like beige tan colorway with the black on the back. Really clean for the fall. $110 US, that's a really, really good price for these. These are mad clean too, man. These like retro looking Adidas jackets. Dang, I think I saw Eddie Wynn wear these and he just killed those fits. Air Jordan 13 breads. I'm a big fan of these. I saw these sitting at some other stores in other malls in Texas. Dang, bro, look at these Air Jordan ones too. Super clean, this really nice crisp leather, almost shattered backboard leather quality with that Fichetta tan hit accents on the tongue, on the boot. Booty hole. Man, these are just something you cannot go wrong with. We're done at Foot Locker and now, now we gotta get some food. I'm mad hungry. We're gonna have Chick fil A for the very first time. I'm pretty hyped to try this. I got the uh, spicy deluxe with American. So we're actually eating an American today. Don't know how I feel about this. Tim was a little bit worried that I was gonna get spicy for my very first Chick fil A. Oh man, this looks actually really good. Damn, bro. And then we got these like weird waffle fry thing. What the heck? Look how much sauce they gave me. It's like I freaking just went grocery shopping. This is amazing, bro. Damn. Yo, look at this insane fidget spinner booth. Oh my gosh, dude. Balls, you can oh. play with your balls in public. Just wrapped up our lunch. Felt really good. Chick-fil-A was amazing. We need to have some of those in Canada. But another store, another store we need to have in Canada is PacSun. And we're gonna do the what can you buy at PacSun for $10 challenge. Cause I heard they have some stuff for under $10. I heard rumors, some steals and deals. Tim let me know. So we're gonna go check out PacSun and see how we do. Preppier kind of look. $7.99 to get you this like gray sweater right here. Throw in like an Oxford shirt underneath your Gucci basic white crew neck sweater. $8. It's a good quality sweater. You can't you can't beat that for this price. The zippers on the side too. You guys know how trendy that is. Gray sweater here with some like embroidery, some em embroidery going on here on the front. Got some lions. Flannels with the hood attached to them. You don't have to layer a hoodie underneath. That might be too hot. You can grab these finals instead. Get that hood, get that layering action. Good color for fall. You can match this with a lot of stuff as well. Got this like distressed Yeezy Season 5 kind of a sweater right here. Not too crazy. You guys know fall is all about flannels. Japanese souvenir jacket. It's this really nice satin material, burgundy and gold, candy cane detailing on the side. It's got bedazzling on the collar as well. The coolest thing about this is not only is this mad dope from the start, but it's actually reversible as well. So you can go gold and then burgundy accents if you're all about that really flashy light. So I think it's cool that Sneaker Talk is finding steals here because he can find steals here for winter clothes because it's always hot here. So maybe if I go up to Canada, I can find really cool clothes for steals since it's always cold there. Got this insane red scarce flannel right here with some like fleece lining. You can just imagine me throwing this on and having to report sneaker news like it's going down. Of course, you guys might have seen in my $200 Marshalls challenge, I recommended getting a black basic hoodie. Well, bro, this one is like a dress, so I can't I can't really recommend this one unless you're very, very tall. It's like a onesie, but they do have this right here. This isn't that bad. You got some 
little slit right here so you can showcase some layering action. Got the zipper down the middle here along with the pull strings and the hood. I actually might have to cut this. This is actually really dope. For $7.99, what can $10 buy you a pack sun? It can buy you all this stuff here on this entire rack. It's insane. This right here might be the best find of the entire batch. We got an Obey flannel, $7.99. Obey flannel, guys. Come on, you, you can't beat that. You can't beat that. I like this like heatherish kind of pattern going on with it. Another souvenir jacket. Level 85 Honduras Pokemon right here on the front. <laughs> we got this like eagle with a skull and some roses. For sure. $7.99, man. You can't even like get it this cheap at the thrift in a lot of places. So this is mad dope, man. Paxson also has a bunch of really good sales. If you're gonna have a budget bigger than $10, they got buy one get one half price on all this stuff. They also carry a lot of champion, but that's regularly priced. So if you're we brawling. Ain't talking about Walmart champion either. Walmart champion, no, oh, we got Paxson champion. This is the good stuff though. Like yeah, this is. Legit, just because it's Paxson, it's 10 times more. There we go. <laughs> the reason why this stuff is so dope is because this is what Tom, the real Ray Ray 20 would wear. You could see the sweat marks from Ray Ray wait, 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 in this, in smell? this piece. You is smell that? that? Tom? That is Tom. Dude, that is. Oh my gosh. So here we are now at the $5 tee area. Now we're about to go in on these, man. They got a bunch of tank top. They got this like half camo, half olive shirt right here. $5. What do you find, Tim? So this camo one? Dude, this is basically safe, babe, right? It's basically, basically babe. babe bro, without the eight. Now I know this is a what can $10 get you a pack sun video, but if you do three for 30, that means it's $10 each. So if you get three tops, like these sweaters right here, that means it's ten dollars each. Ooh, okay, okay. Got some red here. Got some splashes of color. This is actually pretty dope. This sort of has that like collar clothing kind of vibe to me, in my opinion. But for the price point, you can't beat that, dude. Paxson, please come to Canada. I beg you, Paxson. And here's probably one of my favorite shirts. It's a size large, so it might be a little bit too big for me, but it's like olive with the white uh, little cut and sew action at the bottom. You get that kind of layering action going on. Paxson back at it again with the sales. What can you get for $10? All these tops are three for 30. So you can get any of these tops if you want. Here's a look at some of the footwear options they have available. You can't go wrong with some van skate highs, some old schools. These right here really catch my eye. These sort of look like those Fear of God van skate highs. 65 US dollars. Man, that's, that's dope. Here's a look at the Adidas models they have as well. They got some Stan Smith, some tubular radials, and these right here, tubular shadows. You guys know it's a sneaker I definitely recommend you check out. Sort of has those Yeezy vibes. Of course, it's not under $10, but I mean, these kind of sneakers you can't get for $10 at the end of the day. So always a good option though. Since you are saving a lot of money, you might be able to ball out an extra bit of cash on some footwear. That was PacSun, and that was crazy. They had so much heat in that store for like under $10. But now we're gonna hit up like Champs for action some other sneaker stores we got them right here I'm a happy man today let's keep going man this is crazy you just cannot find these in Canada but they're all over Texas what is this nonsense they got the flu game 12s at finish line oh, damn bro oh, flu game 12 flu game 12s oh, man <laughs> and then what else are these the Cherry 12s? Is Ooh, that what the name is? <laughs> Here is a look at their Air Jordan wall. Lots of them on sale. And dude, I remember back in the day before I was into retros and stuff and I was just wearing Supras, I thought like these like Air Jordan Flight SCs were the coolest things. I still think they're pretty cool looking, but at the end of the day, if they're not retros, you just you can't do it if you're a hypebeast like myself. these things super subtle quality of suede on this thing isn't horrible like it's it's pretty good or different shades of gray so it's not super monochromatic if you want to think about it like that velcro along with the straps this is pretty chill pretty uh, it's pretty cool you could say we just filmed a live stream we did a live stream on Instagram and YouTube for some Mexican and treats and stuff here's a little look a little preview yeah we kind of cleaned up a lot had. of this stuff but yeah, we cleaned it up yeah but we tried all these different Cheetos and then we also had some weird Mexican candy Which too. Which ones were your favorite? My favorite would have had to be any of these Cheetos. I loved all the Cheetos. The candy was really weird. But yeah, right now we're just getting ready to head out. We're gonna go watch the McGregor and Mayweather fight at, where, where are we going again? We're going to Beth's uncle's house. So. Beth's uncle's house. And uh, is there gonna be food? Are there gonna be food? I believe there's gonna be food. Take Mexican food 
and some Wingstop wings. We just had our very first Big Red. It's actually really good. Tim says it tastes like candy. It tastes like candy it's for like sure. Candy. But yo, we're in this beautiful place. It's Beth's uncle's place. This is like a mansion, man. It's beautiful in here. So we're gonna chow down and enjoy the fight. That fight was intense. I'm surprised it lasted that long. Tim, what do you think about the fight, man? Honestly, I knew that um, Mayweather had it the whole time. I kind of switched my I kind of switched my roles whenever I saw Mayweather's face. Just the pride in his eyes, I didn't like it. But uh, hey, he came up on top. So uh, McGregor, you know, that wasn't his field. But uh, let's see Mayweather in the MMA and see how he does. That's gonna wrap up today's vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make it this far in the video. Comment down below, Beef Jerky Gang. And if you like Beef Jerky, let me know what jerky you like so I can try it out. But yeah, that's it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Enter the Yeezy giveaway down below. And if you haven't yet subscribed to Tim, his channel will be linked there too. Catch you in the next video. Peace.